Hey everybody, so for this video, we're gonna take a look at Spanish hiatus, uh, tell you what it is, uh, show you some examples, and give you a chance uh, to practice with a little quiz at the end. Uh, before I get going, I do wanna let you know that the doc you're looking at right now is available to you in the description of the video via a link. You can save it, make a copy of it, print it off. Uh, you do not need to ask for permissions as it is already public on the internet. The definition of a hiatus is when two vowels are together, uh, or they can have an H in between them because H is not pronounced in Spanish and they form two separate syllables. Uh, now, before I start showing you those, if you are interested in learning about diphthongs, that's when uh, two vowels are together, but they form one syllable. This right here is a live link on the document. So open up that document and you can check out that video I made. So let's take a look here. Two strong vowels together will always form a hiatus. So strong vowels, what's that? Well, the vowels A, E, and O are considered strong vowels in Spanish. So if you have two of those together, they're going to be on separate syllables. So what I've done here is I've given you six different examples uh, and I've, I'll pronounce the word for you. And then over here on the right, I show you how it's broken up. So the first word is traer. So tra and then er are separate syllables, traer. This one is correo, correo. The E and the O are separate syllables. Creer, creer, E and R are separate syllables. Leo, leo, alcohol, alcohol. And the last one, empleado, empleado. So every time that you see these, I've got these two vowels, two vowels, you'll notice they're separated because they are separate syllables. They do not form one syllable because they're both strong vowels. So they will always be a hiatus, they'll be separated. Now you can also have a hiatus with a strong and a weak vowel together, so long as the weak vowel is stressed or has an accent mark on it. So the weak vowels are U and I, so what I've got here for you are five more words. And over here is how they're spelled along with the accent mark on that weak vowel. And over here is kind of how the syllables will be broken up. So the first word is policia, policia. So these two are, there's an I and an A together right here, but they're separate syllables because that I has an accent mark on it. If that I weren't accented like that, the word would be pronounced policia. And it would change the pronunciation, it would change the spelling because this wouldn't have an accent mark on it. And it would no longer be a hiatus Instead, it would be a diphthong, and this would form one syllable. Next one, we've got tío, continuo, reír. And you've probably learned this word before, día, like buenos días, right? So all those times, we have a weak vowel, an I or a U, with an accent mark on it next to a strong vowel. That's the second type of hiatus. There are uh, more than this. I just thought I'd give you a handful of examples. If you're interested more about like learning accent marks and the rules and how to know when to put an accent mark on a word or how to pronounce the word based on it having an accent mark or not having an accent mark, I do have a lesson on that. You can just search YouTube for Spanish accent marks and you'll find my lesson or you can use this link and it'll also take you to that. So if you wanna see if you can understand this, I've got six words and I've underlined on the words, the two vowels that are together. And I want you to decide if it's a hiatus or not. I'll pronounce the word for you, all six of them, maybe pause the video and decide, and then I'll tell you the answers. So the first one is pronounced caer, caer. Second one, miércoles, miércoles. Tres, escritorio, escritorio. Cuatro, poseer, poseer. Cinco, raúl, raúl. Y agua, agua. So pause the video if you want to take a guess here, or you can just listen. So let's go look at the easier ones first. Remember that A, E, and O are strong vowels. So no matter what, if you have an A, E, or an O together, that will form a hiatus. So this one is a hiatus. Uh, these are these are two strong vowels, so that's also a hiatus. The rest of them are either are a combination of a weak and a strong vowel. So we'll have to look at those ones separately. So this one, miércoles. So you'll notice that there is an accent mark, but it's on the strong vowel and not the weak vowel. So that one does not form a hiatus. The accent mark would have to be on the I in order for it to be a hiatus. So this one's actually a diphthong. Uh, this one, escritorio. So there's no accent mark on that I, so that's not a hiatus. And then this one, Raul. There is an accent mark on the weak vowel, so that one is a hiatus. And the last one, agua. There is not an accent mark on the weak vowel, so that one is not a hiatus. Hopefully this makes some sense. If you have a question, let me know in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. Uh, like the video if it helped. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Awesome.